This is the brief on mapping the difficulty of draining the oceans. You know, when we imagine draining the ocean, we usually think of simple evaporation, where the sea level just drops evenly everywhere. But what if you used an actual physical drain? Well, because of the ocean floor's wild topography, things get way more complicated. It's a huge computational problem. First off, using just one drain would immediately create countless landlocked seas. Think about it. The ocean floor has all these underwater mountains and deep valleys, so huge amounts of water would just get trapped, completely cut off from the main drain, forcing you to find other ways to get it out. And second, the reason why that water gets trapped is because draining is what's known as a non-local phenomenon. With evaporation, a spot is dry if it's above the waterline. Simple. But with the drain, the water has to have a clear, continuous downhill path to actually reach it. If just one little hill is in the way, that whole basin of water is stuck. So finally, how do you even map all these trapped areas? Well, you flip the problem on its head. Since checking every single possible path is basically impossible, researchers figured out a clever trick. They use flooding algorithms. It works just like the paint bucket tool in an image editor. They simulate filling the ocean instead. And the landlocked areas just reveal themselves because they don't fill up gradually, they fill up all at once, the second the water hits the top of their basin. So mapping a drained ocean is solved by working backward, proving that filling something up can be way easier to calculate than draining it.